Hi, this is Savar from Scrappy Mini, and today I want to show you how you can create a semi-circle using your Martha Stewart Circle Punch. So I went ahead and took it out of the case. So this, this comes like this. So the blade is in the bottom, so you take the blade out or the, the cutting surface, and you're going to insert that in your slider. Now this paper measures 12 by 8. So what I want to do is I want to mark the center of my 12 by 12 so I take a ruler and I go ahead and mark the center and as you can see there I already went ahead and did that. Before I move on with the rest of the video I left a critical step out of the video of my tutorial was what measurements do I need to place my slider here my little arrow here and also what measurements I need to place my um, slider here. Now I do. I only had a piece of 12 by 8 piece of cardstock, and I wanted to create a, a doily that measured 12 inches wide by whatever inches um, tall, because I, I wanted to create that semicircle doily so that way I can fit it underneath a layout. I really didn't need the whole doily, and I didn't, and I really didn't want to waste the whole piece of paper. I mainly wanted to create a semi-circle, but with a measuring 12 inches wide. Um, this is a great technique. So, it's if you have that favorite sheet, you only have one sheet of that favorite paper, and you want to just use half of the sheet to create half a doily. You don't have to create destroy the other half. You can always save the other half for any other layers that you plan to do in the future. But you can create your doily using just half of it and preserve the other half. So, and that's why I created this technique. Now, because I wanted a 12 um, width of my doily by ever however long it's going to be, I, I'm going to go ahead and place the slider here to 12 inches. And then you're going to place the slider here to 12 inches. So this is 12 inches here, 12 inches here. And then continue on watching the video and where I show you how to position the paper so that way you do get that semicircle um, 12 inches wide. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to find the center of this piece here so that way you can put your paper on that center. And I already have that one. Then you're going to go ahead and align the center of your piece and you're going to go ahead and place your piece of paper between there's two little marks right there there's a mark there and a mark here so you're going to go ahead and align your paper with that mark and align the center with your center right there once you have all that in place you're going to go ahead and take your knob and place it and then make sure that you can move it around as you can see there so now I'm going to go ahead and place my punch make sure it grabs on to my um, center and it is pushed down now I'm going to go all the way around and going to start from where so you're going to start from where the paper actually touches the cutting area of your punch and then keep on turning and there you have it a perfect half doily so this is great when you just have a scrap piece of paper that you really want to create that half doily so you can tuck underneath the photo or your layout and you just don't have another p complete piece you can do this. You can just measure it, make sure you get the centers, make sure you place the center on your um, your slider here, align it to the lines here, and just keep on cutting. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and thank you for watching. Bye now.